Hello and welcome back to the Average Hero channel. It has been a long time since I have posted anything. I apologize for that. It has been a crazy year. Uh, got COVID twice and uh, hope you all are staying safe. But um, back on the wagon here to uh, start sharing some videos. I got some things I'm gonna be adding to the car, some small little cool you know, add-ons, modifications, if you will. First one I wanted to do was share a very simple modification to the inside of the car that you can do. It's been a pet peeve of mine of, as I had shared in um, my review video earlier last year about storage space in the car, specifically when it comes to even things like my cell phone. And, <clears throat> excuse me, where do you put your cell phone when you get in the car, right? You get in the car, you don't know where to, do you put it in the side door? Do you put it in the cup holder? Probably most of us were putting it in the cup holder. I have the 2SS model, so I have the wireless uh, charge pad behind, um, the, behind the front seats, actually. It's in the middle of the back seat. But that's, that's really hard to get to, and it's not always the best for charging. Uh, so a lot of times my default is going in the cup holder, but then if I have cups in the cup holders, Eh, makes it hard to use. It can be really frustrating at times on where to place your phone. It seems like Chevy could have done something pretty simple, just a slot or something, you know, in the console to place a phone because we all pretty much have our phones with us, right? We all carry a phone, cell phone of some size or sort. Um, and it just like make a spot for us that's intentionally for the phone. In my hunt for a device or some place that I could, you know, a mount, more specifically a mount I was looking for to put in the car. Um, I was really trying to find something that was MagSafe. So I have the iPhone 12 and it has the MagSafe technology with uh, Apple. Uh, the iPhone 12s and the 13s have that. Now there's a lot of other mounts that have a clamp. I was trying to go for as simple as possible um, and through much hunting, I found one that I think really is going to work. That one is the Anchor Series 6. Uh, it's the only MagSafe car mount char charger that they have. Uh, I got this at Best Buy. It was about $70 when I got it, but I've seen it um, around the holidays, it was down to 50. So you can find it sometimes on sale. And then I'm gonna show you where I was mounting it so you can see that it's got a nice clean feel, doesn't get in the way of the, um, display as well as you know with shifting so let's check in dive into it and see what we got okay originally when anchor markets this they have it up here on a dash and obviously having the phone in front of here if like any spot on the dash even if i go you know in this area I can still angle it and it's it's just it's a little bit of a reach it's doable the thing i why i didn't want to do that is because then i gotta have to have this cable kind of dangling down in front of the dash or off to the side and if you've paid attention to any of my other videos i, I want clean i want you know nice and crisp and trying to, to minimize any of that type of stuff so that wasn't going to be working i was even entertaining you know putting it over here on the window uh, again, really far for the cable to go to any type of power source. Um, we can see here if, if we use the, you know, the anchor supplied power, I can, I can go right to here. And then I got a cable kind of hanging out, you know, and doing that type of thing. So that's more of like a temporary thing, uh, which is fine. I mean, if you're just, you know, wanting to, maybe you have to switch between cars, I'm not sure. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, in here is where we have the, you know, the USB um, A connection to power the MagSafe charging. Now you can use this just as a mount if you want, uh, then it really doesn't matter. You can, you know, connect your power, whatever, and just connect it right to the phone. Um, one of the reasons why this is a little bit pricier car mount is because of the MagSafe, because it does charge the phone. Uh, when it's you know mounted to it um, again for the 12s or the 13 any magsafe charging phone which is the current generations so what i ended up doing and which is where i'm going to show you i'm going to mount it was actually over here to the um the knee pad and so if i 
stick it there like that. Like, it's there. Now I can even, I can angle this out, which really doesn't benefit me as the, you know, the driver. Um, but in this spot, the phone is right here and it is not in the way of my, like I, I messed with this for a, maybe a week or two. I'm um, seeing if I could hit it, even going over into reverse. It was, I have to really kind of try to, to, you know, tag that there. So this is where I'm going to end up mounting it. And then I'm going to run the cable down underneath the console. I can either use a couple of those cable uh, adhesive mounts and run the cable up the side and right through the spot where the, the lid of the console cover comes down. Attach it in that way. So here's what we're looking at the way that I wired in. So it's plugged in the, the bottom uh, USB port there. And then I just kind of tucked it down in the corner I used one of those cable management um, things that come with the attachments that come with the kit, the anchor kit. And then as we can see, I'll go around the other side so you can see how I'm running it. So here it is on the passenger side, kind of in the, the back seat area. So we close that and then I use another one of those uh, cable attachments there, just stuck it to the side. And the passenger seat clears it just fine. So it doesn't rub up against um, the cable or that. And you can see how I tucked it under there. And then we're gonna run it along toward, or underneath that um, plastic towards the front. Okay, you can see there, uh, sorry for the neighborhood kids audio, but it's, uh, it's kind of tucked back in there. So it's not really going to, um, bother anything. I don't really have a lot of passengers in my car and so it should be good and the seat's not moving back and forward um, a lot and so what we're going to do is we're going to tuck it right up under there and then bring it up into the mount right there and then we'll mount the phone right there. should be good. about it for the anchor series 6 I think is what it was called I'll link it down below uh, so check that out if you guys have an iPhone 12 or 13 and you got a Camaro or even actually you could use this in any car like if you want to do the dash mount and stuff this is the way that I did it here which is I think it'll work out really well I, I'm pretty pleased with how clean it all looks um, you know it's even got which I noticed it's got this uh, light here on the back that's kind of around the base of that uh, it's at night it's not real bright but um, yeah. not, a, not a neat thing with the lighting that we have in our cars and you know again I would appreciate if you guys subscribe if you haven't already I hope you like the video uh, if you do give me a thumbs up and also if there's a better iPhone you know or phone I should say mount for your car that you like uh, clamp style or something of that nature please share below I know a lot of other uh, people who watch the channel read the comments and get a lot of input from what everybody else is using. So much appreciate that. Otherwise, be safe. I'll see you the next time. Have a good one.